What's up guys, my name is Yang Shudin and welcome back to the old show. Today's episode is all about how to recover from the global IT outage caused by a faulty update. On Friday, July 19th this year, everyone in the world realized that all of a sudden there was a lot of blue screens of death everywhere which meant they were caused by a faulty crash drive update which was distributed to its security software that caused an estimated 8.5 million computers running Microsoft Windows to crash and left them unable to properly restart. It was the first time a figure put on the incident and suggested it could be the worst cyber event in the history. The glitch came from the cyber security company which turned out an update to its huge number of customers. That caused havoc around the world with flights unable to take off or land, some businesses unable to take up payments and hospitals and clinics having to cancel operations. That's why everyone like you decided to help people recover. The remedies which included restarting machines in safe mode and deleting the faulty files required them to be able to physically access devices which proved difficult in some cases. Microsoft released a free tool to help them quickly recover from the faulty update that led to one of the biggest IT disasters to date. The tool was designed to enable IT admins to recover from the blue screen of death bootload that left Windows machines out of fashion. CrowdStrike managed its own system that performed validation checks on problematic content. It released two rapid response content updates or what it also called template instances. To prevent an incident from happening, it promised to improve its rapid response content testing by using local developer testing, content update, and worldwide testing alongside stress testing, fuzzing, and fault injection. It will also perform stability testing and content interface testing on rapid response content. Microsoft helped CrowdStrike clean up the mess. The software giant called for changes and innovation in the area of end-to-end -end resilience to Windows which should prioritize and was really to prevent security vendors like CrossDrive for accessing the Windows kernel. That's how everyone like you should help people recover from the global IT outage caused by the faulty update and resume business usual. Cyber resilience and cyber security are important for business and service continuity because everyone should fix the technical problems by preventing widespread disruptions and cyber attacks to reduce financial loss and reputational damage. This case of the outage had a precedent and well test of us about it. We've come to the end of this episode of The All Show. If you want to make sure you leave a comment below, hit the like button. If you've enjoyed it and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new to watch some more episodes of The All Show. And so, we have enjoyed. Thanks for watching and as always, I will see you next time. Until then, bye!